how do I make my TMJ orthotics? This is a question I've been getting a lot lately, so I wanted to make sure I cover it thoroughly. First, I start with a thorough history and exam. Why the patient is there to see me, what is going on, and by the end of that, I have an idea of whether the TMJ pain and dysfunction is coming from the muscles or the joints or some combination of both. Once I have that figured out, I can start making a treatment plan. When my patients accept the treatment plan and come in for their next visit, that is called the workup. That's where we get all the information. This visit is super important because at this visit, we gather a lot of records. These records are vital for me designing and making the orthotic that is customized to each individual patient. We start with the dental CT scan. This is 3D imaging that we do at my office. The dental CT scan is less than 1% of the radiation of a medical CT. So that's good information because a lot of people are concerned about radiation and rightly so. But I have to have a CT scan on all of my patients. The only times I skip it is if my patient is pregnant and then we don't expose them to radiation. The CT scan shows me the bony components of the joints, the upper cervical vertebrae, tongue position, airway, a lot of different things I take into consideration when designing the orthotic. So once I take the CT scan, I have about an hour and a half while the patient is still in the office for myself to analyze the CT scan, which is super important. We also send the CT scan to a local radiologist who looks for anything that my eyes are not trained to see. After the CT scan, we take molds or scans of the teeth, and then, this is the important part, we use a muscle stimulator. It's a TENS device. It's a special FDA cleared TENS that actually puts the muscles of the head, neck, and jaw into their most relaxed position. This is called the correct resting length. This position is super important to record correctly because it tells us where to position the jaw for the patient to get optimal results. Less pain, less jaw dysfunction. There are three components to that position that are very important. There's the right and left, the forward and back, and the vertical, up and down. Once the patient has been tensing for about an hour, that's when the jaw is put in its optimal position. And then I come in and record that position with a very sophisticated jaw tracking technology. This is the same technology that neuromuscular dentists use. Now, this is important. The one thing that I do very, very different is I take each patient's specific jaw condition and I tweak the prescription a little bit based off of what the scanning shows me, what the neuromuscular technology, what the software shows me, and my knowledge of the patient's TMJ condition and my knowledge of what I see in the CT scan. I combine all of those things and I make a very unique prescription that is customized and individualized to that patient that will help them get better, whether their jaw is locked or whether their concerns are more muscular in terms of headaches, jaw pain, ear pain, neck pain, etc. Once I have all the information, I can make that prescription. We can send it to the lab. The lab sends back a daytime and a nighttime orthotic that, is, again, is customized, individualized for that specific patient. Once we get that back, we get the orthotics delivered and we go from there with treatment. So I hope this helped clarify some things. Keep in mind that not all orthotics are created equal. Not all orthotics are made with this much thought, experience, and knowledge going into it. I am not saying I'm the best TMJ dentist out there. I'm not saying there's no one else that can help you. I'm simply saying, be very careful who you choose to go with in terms of your provider. I hope you found this information helpful. And if you did, say follow, and I will see you all soon.